Uh, good evening to you. Welcome to the West Ham Voice on a Tuesday afternoon. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all having a good start to the week, of course. Uh, we had a day off, didn't we, yesterday? So it can't be that bad. Um, this is just a brief update uh, to give you news on the latest transfer stories. And there isn't really much more to tell you apart from what's actually already out there. Uh, we keep hearing stories, uh, you know, that apparently we're continuously being linked uh, to Tammy Abraham, and uh, we've been told that, um, that, that, that the transfer is very imminent. And uh, we keep being told by the senior source, third time now, that uh, nothing of the sort, this is not happening. And um, a little bit more detail as to why it's understood that uh, this isn't going, isn't going to happen. Now, Abraham, he's got two years left on his contract at uh, Roma. Um, they... The outlay for him was something like 34 odd million pounds. Uh, he's on about 92 odd thousand pounds a week or, or more, including bonuses. Uh, but um, he's not been that successful at Roma over the last couple of seasons. And of course, he missed a huge chunk of last season because of um, a crucial ligament injury, uh, which he missed something like 40 odd games. He made 12 appearances uh, last season, scoring one goal and one assist. And it's that that the senior source has said there's no chance that we're going to go for Tammy Abraham because of his injury record, uh, because of the amount of money he's on. Um, and uh, there seems to be uh, we, it's, it, there seems to be a lot of confusion as to why there's an insistence by the Italian press that we're about to go in for Abraham. Look. Anything can happen, I'm sure, uh, and things may change. And uh, some people are suggesting it's because we don't want to attract attention uh, to the ch fact that we want to target Abraham. I don't know. Like I said in the West Ham Weekly on Monday night, how many teams are actually in for Abraham? And uh, have, have, are there a queue of teams that are interested in him? So we've been told, we consistently being told that there's no interest in Tammy Abraham and we can take him off the list of targets that we are aiming for. Um, and then Danny Ings. I mean, one of the other reasons why we're not looking at bringing any other players in at this moment in time is that we've been quite clearly told that uh, we've got to get rid of not just um, Kurt Zuma, but another player on top of that in order to free up funds in the wage in the wages, etc. Now, apparently, uh, with Danny Ings, we've heard he's turned down two deals already, uh, offers to go to other clubs, and there apparently is now interest from clubs in the championship for the player. And the latest one is Leeds United. Now, I would argue that if Danny Ings has uh, turned down uh, offers of going to Premier League teams, then is he really likely to be interested in going in dropping down a league and going to a, a championship team? I don't know. There's a suggestion that Ings is playing the long game. Uh, if West Ham want to get rid of him, then uh, he's quite happy to be paid off. You know, I, I said in the West Ham Weekly last night that it will cost about five and a half million pounds, give or take, to pay to buy Ings out of his contract and then let him go. So um, and then, of course, he can go anywhere he wants and uh, demand whatever wages he wants elsewhere. So is he playing the long game? Is he trying to play a smart game? I don't know. Would West Ham United tear up his contract? Again, I don't know. I mean, Lopetegui will just say, well, OK, you're in the squad. Uh, we haven't got anybody else at the moment. You've got Antonio. We've got Fulcrook. But I'll use Ings where I need to. Ings has been on the bench uh, for the last couple of games. He's been selected. He's played a few minutes as well. So there's a there's an argument to say that uh, if uh, Ings doesn't go, uh, he's in the last year of his contract at West Ham United, then Lopetegui will probably just use him sparingly where he needs to, where he can. Another player uh, that we spoke about on the West Ham Weekly was James Ward-Prowse. Now, is he the victim of circumstance? I don't actually really think that Lopetegui wants to sell James Ward-Prowse. But in order to get Carlos Soler in from PSG and the fact that we keep being told that we need to uh, let not one player, but two players go in order to bring other players in. I just wonder if uh, James Ward-Prowse is the kind of player that we have in the squad that is more has got more attraction. We already heard 
that Nottingham Forest have an interest in him. We've heard that other clubs like Everton have an interest in him. So uh, there could be a queue of clubs and maybe even Southampton, his old club. There could be a queue of Premier League clubs that will have an interest in James Ward-Prowse. Even though he's 29, he's got three years left on his contract. Uh, I think a lot of uh, clubs will see some potential in bringing Ward-Prowse in. He's not a bad player. And I'm not so sure that West Ham United really want to sell James Ward-Prowse. I think the, the you know, the, the aim is to move players like Zuma on, of course, Nifer Gerd, uh, Maxwell Corne, uh, Danny Ings. Uh, but I think the kind of West Ham, we might end up being forced to sell James Ward-Prowse in order to um, free up some money and space in the squad to bring Carlos Soler in. It'd be a reluctant sell. And we can see uh, with James Ward-Prowse, he's a decent player. As I said in the West Ham Weekly again last night, he delivered something like he was part of delivering 18 goals at West Ham last season. I believe he scored eight and he was, uh, uh, or 17 goals, sorry, scored eight and assisted in uh, 11. Um, so, uh, uh, sorry, nine. I can't get my math straight. Um, but so, so he's a he's an asset to West Ham. He can score goals. He can assist in goals. And other clubs will be looking at him and going, I'll, I'll have some of that. And I guess if if we sell him for £25 million uh, and free up about £115,000 in the wage kitty, then to bring Carlos Soler in, there's your answer. But I think that it, it will be a reluctant sell. I'm not so sure that we really want to move him on. And then, of course, we've got the other end of the spectrum. Nifa Gerd, uh, we've heard that he's turned down yet another offer. I don't know how many offers he's been turn, uh, he's turned down for, uh, but the latest one, as we know, was for Wolfsburg in the Bundesliga. And it seems that his agent is working hard to take him, along with Kurt Zuma, they both have the same agent, uh, to Saudi. Kurt Zuma, we believe, is having his medical either today or tomorrow. And there's a two-year deal uh, up for grabs if he does pass his medical. Uh, with Al Aruba, I think the, it's pronounced. And then Nifa Gerd is apparently waiting for Al Itihad to make a bid for him. So I guess we'll see what happens there as well. Now, there are other stories, of course, that apparently we're in for uh, Oxlade Chamberlain, from Bes who's playing football in, in Turkey in Besiktas at the moment. That ain't going to happen. We're definitely not going in for uh, Alex o Oxlade Chamberlain. And uh, and apparently we're still waiting for uh, John Duran. There's still rumour that John Duran is still going to come a last minute deal to West Ham. I'd love it to happen, but I can't see it happening. He was given another half an hour or so against Arsenal at the weekend. So it's evident that uh, Unai Emery is definitely using the player as much as he possibly can. Now, there are other stories uh, knocking about. Let me just go into uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the area where it's got all the latest news and, and I'll give you the sort of headlines. So um, apparently uh, we're open to letting go a world-class £30 million. David Moyes signing, that of course is relating to James Ward-Prowse. Uh, West Ham dream window hopes dashed by as Chelsea I a late uh, transfer. And who have they got a late transfer on? Let's just have a look at this story. Uh, Ivan Tony. It looks like apparently uh, Chelsea might be making a late bid for Ivan Tony. So if they do, then that's us uh, blown out of the water. Who would he go to? He'll certainly get paid an awful lot more money than he would do at West Ham United. Of course, um, Ogbonna. Uh, our beloved uh, Angela Ogbonna has signed uh, a deal at uh, Watford, a 12-month deal. We really wish him the best of luck. I'll tell you what, they've got an absolute gem there, uh, Watford. So well done to him. And I'm going to be looking out for his performances uh, over over this uh, following season. What other things have we got? Um, that, that's it, really. Uh, it, it seems like um, we're not moving anything on our transfers until we, we know that Zoom is going and until we let another person, another player go. Uh, like I said, the ideal would be to let Maxwell Corne go, Danny Ings go, Nifa Gerd go and Kurt Zuma. But uh, it's proven to be far more difficult than, uh, than any other player. Hence... The, pot the potential of having to sell James Wall Prowse. It will be a reluctant sale. But we're no closer at this moment in time uh, to getting any other players in. But the headline really is, we keep being told 
that despite all the rumours from uh, Italy, uh, all the uh, social media and newspaper sources saying that uh, we're in for Tammy Abraham, uh, the senior source for the third time in asking has said there's no way we're doing it mainly because of his salary. He's on a uh, 92 odd thousand pound a week salary and mainly because of his big injury record, uh, his cruciate ligament uh, uh, tear that he had last season, which made him miss 40 games. So there you have it. Uh, A brief update. If there was better news, I'd bring it to you. But I'm sure uh, with the transfer window now, just having what? what, four days to go, Wednesday, Thursday, well, three and a half days to go. I'm sure there are going to be many other stories abound. So look out for it as it comes up. Speak to you all soon and have a good rest of the evening.